Hello everybody and welcome to this brand new Cinema 4D tutorial and uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and in this tutorial we will be learning how to create this uh, shattered uh, glass ball uh, completely in Cinema 4D it's pretty quick uh, so this idea was by i7rise and uh, he made the, the shattered glass ball speed art so I just followed that along and uh, made a tutorial for you guys in case you guys you know for you know because it's a speed art and most of them would not know how to you know uh, you know flow with the speed of the time lapse uh, anyways uh, without further ado let's get started so here we are and uh, the first thing is I'm gonna change the render settings to 1280 by actually I'm gonna go for 1920 uh, by 1080 okay then we're gonna take a camera and uh, we're gonna zero out the H P X Y and I'm just gonna if you want to see for example if there is a value and you want to put that to zero instead of selecting it and pressing zero we can just press the right click button the right click button on the down button and that snaps it to that so uh, the values I'll be using for the camera object is 30 for the X and minus 550 for the Z okay then let's start off uh, the first thing is I'm gonna make a new sphere and I'm gonna call this main sphere and I'm gonna duplicate the sphere and name the other one small sphere so in the main sphere I'm gonna go to the object tab I'm gonna set the radius oh sorry the radius remains the same the segments I'm gonna set down to 60 and the small one I'm gonna set the radius to 40 and I'm just gonna take this and drag it on over to the side and uh, set that to 140 so it is just touching it um, the next thing is I'm gonna go and choose a explosion effects uh, deformer and put it right below the main and uh, we see it is completely screwed up so we wanna make some changes over here so in the explosion tab I'm going to set the strength to 40, the decay to 70, and the variation to 55. The direction will be only Z. Okay, and the decay under the blast speed is going to be 75, variation to 5, and the blast range is going to be 190. Okay, uh, then we're going to go to the cluster and we're going to set the thickness to 2. Uh, and the mini polys to one and the maximum polys to two. Okay. Uh, and then, okay, uh, that is pretty much for it. And in the gravity, okay, in gravity remains the same. Rotation in speed remains to 445, variation to 70, and the variation to 75. And in the special tab, uh, remains the same. Okay, so let me just remove this explosion effects and uh, go to the coordinates. Looks good to me. Let me just drop this over here. And I'm going to move this to the side and uh, set the X position of the explosion effects to minus 180 degrees. So we have this, um, you know, a little bit uh, blasting out. Okay, then I'm gonna go and uh, create a new disk, uh, disk, 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 oops, disk, and uh, I'm gonna set the inner, uh, the outer radius to 750, and the coordinates to 325, and I'm gonna go right click Cinema 4D tags, compositing tags, and uncheck see my camera. Then we're gonna be making the materials now, so I'm gonna just gonna double click here. Uh, I'm going to select the luminance channel, take that, drop it on the disk, then I'll go make another uh, layer, I mean new material, and in the material I'm going to go set the color to black, uh, actually I'm just going to add a uh, gradient with a uh, circular, and this one will be uh, RGB values 50, 50, 50 and uh, this will be black and I'm gonna go make a new background and drop this on the background and uh, let's make one material for the ball and one material for the bigger ball 
So uh, in this material, I'm going to go to transparency and set the refraction to 1.1. 1 .1. Brilliant. Simple material and drop it on the ball. And I'm going to make a new material. Get into this material and set the color to the, this to black and the reflection of this to black with a Fresnel texture with a brightness of 5 and a mix strength of 20 and uh, we're going to take this and drop it on our small cube and we're going to go here and choose ambient occlusion anti-aliasing will be set to best and go to the options over here and uncheck default light and then let's uh, hit a render and see what we get so here is the final render uh, without global illumination and just ambient occlusion so this is pretty much it I know it's a quick small tutorial and uh, please like share comment subscribe and if there's any other tutorials that you would like me to make just drop in a comment uh, or you can message me inbox me and uh, thank you again very much for watching this tutorial and I uh, hope to see you soon have a great day